Hello, everybody. This is Jerry Duty Summons, and welcome back to the Summons, where I take a look at independent or other games, in which that I don't really want to do a full let's play of. So uh, let's take a look at today at Dungeon Dashers. <laughs> uh, interesting name. Um, I was a big fan of of D and D, old style D and D games like Polar Radiance and Curse of the Azure, Azure, or whatever it's called, and. Um, I really enjoyed those games, and I saw this. I saw this on the apps on the Steam Marketplace, and I thought, "Wow, that looks a lot like that." So, give it a try, and um, so well, let's let's see how well it kind of captures that vibe. I think that's what they're going for—is the old style, like TSR and uh, similar games. Anyway, let's take a look here. So this is the intro screen. Press brace. Um, let's take a look at the options first, just because unfortunately there is hardly any options and your volume control is really terrible nothing too too loud <laughs> I had to turn it down in my interface just to make sure it was the right volume so we've got an idea of what the sound is like so let's let's really take a look and just turn off the sound it's a little bit distracting so it's it's all right it's not bad um, yeah it's not like amazing or anything Effects volume, that's about right for what we're doing here, I think. Window size, it, it really just, that's that's how that's how you control the resolution. It's 1x, 2x, 4x, and then full screen. I have a, I have a you know, 1080p monitor and 4x fills it up. So I, I don't know the difference between full screen and 4x is. I'm not really sure exactly. Perfect pixel scaling. Uh, I don't know exactly what that does. Scales the pixels perfectly, I guess. I don't know. And then we have VSync, which I left off because cares and really it's not that much in terms of options but um i guess you don't really need a lot rebinding the keys would have been nice because not everyone is right-handed with a same keyboard you know oh well essentially everything is controlled by pressing arrows and space there's not really any kind of uh, mouse input at all so it's just a keyboard based game um stop back into the campaign so this is the between like mission screen you get. You can control your characters, select the equipment, and you can see I have uh, four characters: Sir Jacobs, Ryder, Erdon, and January. Sir Jacob is the um, well fighter of the group, stereotypical fighter, and he has a couple of good pieces of equipment, some decent starting gear, and then uh, his basic skills: the charge thing. Uh, hit everybody, and this is a guard thing. I the charge is a lot of fun. And I keep using it over and over. <laughs> uh, Ryder has kind of a kind of a basic rogue, but he gets this like interesting blink ability, which is kind of an interesting thing. And he gets a backstab, which is kind of nice. And then later on, as you level, or as uh, the game progresses, you get more skills. Yeah, it's, all these are locked. None. And there you go. Tells a little bit. Critical hits, deal three times damage for one turn, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, look at Aragon. He's the stereotypical wizard. You know, the staff and the robe. I put on me wizard hat. And uh, fireball, kind of a standard fireball. And this is kind of a, a thing that just freezes. So far, the abilities aren't super interesting. They're very standard. Uh, and then we have January, I guess. Um, I'm not worried about too much. So all the different missions you're going through, it's so far pretty linear. There isn't really much choice. Um, but the combat is interesting, so let's take a look at that. Maybe. Enter to start. Okay, there we go. That enter. Freedom. We're through the Rubicon. This is it, the other side. So the storyline revolves around... Uh, so, so far, what I know of the storyline is we're, we're just sitting in there. It's the, this land, this peaceful land, is surrounded by these giant obsidian walls. And the only path through them is the Rubicon. And that's what we just went through. So that's what we just had to fight our way through these tunnels and all these different goblins and whatnot. How are we supposed to get home now? I think just enjoy the beautiful forest, Ryder. Jeez, such a buzzkill. Right. Okay, so this is Ryder. He's the rogue. I guess he can go first. Um, make him go first because he's the one with the 
Oh, there we go. His ability can be is, is pretty useful because it can break through stuff. I don't know why. I don't know who installed the damn door in the forest. Mm. No, interesting. So you can switch between people just by hitting enter. You can switch who you're controlling. Uh, but they also put these little blue circles around, which are really handy. Attention! Secret bandit clubhouse. Do not enter. Uh, quite the secret. Stepping on those blue things just summons everybody in the party to you. So it can save a, a, quite a bit of a hassle of trying to run around and maneuver people. Encounter! <laughs> Watch your wallets. So when you enter these encounters, that's what happens, essentially. I don't want to run him forward. Well, I could use my one ability and then the other. I can't. Yeah, I could do that both. And then I'm going to pucker down. Cool. And he is going to bounce up here, and then backstab. <laughs> I made someone explode. Okay, so he's done. She's just going to sit back here, and who am I going to kill? Great. So in all honesty, the, the abilities aren't really that, um, aren't that unique. But it's it's serviceable. They're interesting, and it really is early in the game, so it's hard to judge that kind of stuff. All right, well, strategically that went really well. Each of the characters has their own little quirks and fun. You do collect money, and I've gotten like forty thousand gold coins, and I'm not really sure. It is somewhat satisfying breaking stuff, though, so I'll keep doing that. How do I get out? Oh, yes. Another encounter. So if you hold down tab, you can actually move around the map. So there's that right there. It's interesting. There's a couple archers. Hmm. Well, if I want to play this smart, I can retreat back here and make everybody come towards me. Which is probably a good idea. Okay, that's right. So the archers can't do anything, so they're going to run forward. At least that's hope. I have a little bit of AOE, so hopefully they get everybody together, and then I can abuse that. There we go. <laughs> Boom. Don't. Sweet. There we go. I am good for two more, and I can move twice. So we'll move out of the way there. So the combat is actually... I kind of like the combat because it's really strategic. It's turn-based. Um, it's it makes it, it makes it kind of interesting, and it really is very similar to how the old style of, um, of that stuff worked. So let's charge in there and see what I can do. That was kind of a waste of that ability, I guess. Oh, and I shot at. I've almost lost my rogue a couple of times.
There we go. Easy as pie. Here, I lost hardly any health there. I must, get, I must be getting better at this. You can sometimes break rocks, but I guess not that kind. Hey, more money. I haven't been through that many missions, and I've gotten lots of money. Oh, by the way, this is an early access game, so it's available on Steam right now for $10. I think their, I think their um, goal is to actually sell it for a bit more since it's finally finished, but uh, we get to get in here and do some of the beta testing for them. All right, so what do we got to kill? Um, too much. We're in good shape, I think. Could just uh, just retreat. You can retreat. Oh, we got bats behind us. Where did those come from? I've been accused of having bats in my belfry. I guess that. Ow! Stop it. So the bats. I mean, the the AI is a little bit uh, sophisticated too, because it'll come in hit and then it'll try to go hide so it does make um, the bowmen actually kind of annoying in that regard Woo. I guess you can't kill them all why skeletons glow, but I guess we'll take it. Alright. Those guys are take a lot of damage, so that should be interesting. He's good for doing something like this. Pop. Ow. So I have taken a little bit of damage this time, like the last two fights where I was able to not shoot anything. Yay! So the real star of this fight is this this chick right here who just did tons of damage. She's the only one with an upgraded uh, weapon right now. She has an upgraded armor too, so. Don't know how that works. Oh. Oopsie dizzy. Ah, well, that was easy. So, step on here. Everyone summoned. Ah! Let's get out of here. So, that is the basics of the game so far. Did I get four stars? I got four stars? I only got four stars. Man, lame. Oh, I missed a chest. Hmm. I got something new. What did I get? Ah, a new writer skill. What did I unlock? Lord of Deception. Make yourself invisible to enemies, but remove almost all of your life. Enemies will not focus while you are invisible, but will attack you if you block their desired path. Huh. Well, that is interesting. So next mission. Let's do one more mission here before we continue before we uh, let you go. Creepy crawly. Oh. Interesting. So we're split up a bit. The store is fortified by lightning. I cannot get past it. Wow, well, him and his big armor. I guess it would shock everything around him. Oops. Switch, but might as well, I guess. 
Oh, great. Spiders. So I guess we can fight two packs of spiders at the same time. Seems like fun. So she has an AOE. We should hit everybody right there. Nice. Wow, that was uh, a mess of spiders. Did she drop more spiders? Oh my god. There's way too many spiders. This is an unacceptable number of spiders. Do that, that, and then I'll freeze it. Ah. Ow! Crikey's. So we'll do the uh, wide swipe, I guess. Aha! That worked. Cool. the spiders finally well I say done but what I mean is we're done momentarily with spiders one thing I've noticed this game doesn't have any of is like health potions and whatnot oh let's just run I'm going to need to run here just a little bit. Wait, is there anything up here I need to do? No, nothing. Fair enough. We'll move this way. These guys down here are pretty useless, but make this com this, this mission a little bit more annoying. We didn't get some fight down here. So what I'm hoping to do here is just some way across the map here. Yeah, that's working just fine. There we go. Line up so I can kill you one at a time.
Yay. Actually, just nothing in there. That's okay. There we go. So we're back to regular movement now. We just won that combat. Combat. Without the teleport, it is actually a bit annoying to uh, try to maneuver everybody. Do, 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 do. As you can see, there is essentially no animation. It's really just the same sprite, just bouncing around a bit. I guess I best be around here when I get this door open, because there's probably going to be something in it. All right, blue culture. Whoop. And I turned that off. Cool. All right, so the top guy's mission is done. So let's go over here and go to the store. Skeletons are not too bad. They're they go down pretty quickly, but the other ones are a bit tough. Maybe I can come and help with these guys. I don't know. That looks like maybe not. Shot. Let's see what we can do I killed it. Watch him jump down, and shoot, and then hide. Yeah, that's son of a bitch. Yeah, her. That person is going to be annoying. Let's see if we can do something about it. Sweet. It's an archer for you. Look at that dodge is the whole sprite. Ah. The game isn't bad, but the enemy is definitely... Well, I've got to say, there's like not even animation to, to talk about, but um, if that bothers you, then don't get it, I guess. But despite that, it's actually kind of an interesting little game. It has some fun kind of concepts going behind it. It's, it's nostalgic in its own way. Oh, yeah. times. Oh yeah. <laughs> I missed that. Missed the whole little room. Well anyway, thanks for watching everybody. This is kind of a, I, I think you can kind of get a get a good idea of what Dungeon Dashers is all about. And uh, if you have any questions or comments or any other games you'd like to, the summons to take a look at, just let me know. Bye everybody.